Hey guys, Sam here from ART and today it's buckwheat. Um, so I've probably already heard of buckwheat, but uh, <laughs> not when it comes to tea. And uh, probably because we are just all con con just con confusing it for food. <laughs> and uh, basically just small triangular fruit seed that's related to rhubarb, which is a vegetable. So uh, it's not wheat <laughs> and it tastes like starchy carbo, a hybrid rate, I guess, but it's gluten-free and it sounds complicated, but <laughs> buckwheat is actually a very simple food that you can get familiar with in no time and has been cultivated for more than 6,000 years in Asia, so it's been around for a very, very long time and it's also known for many beneficial or benefits and uh, also known as uh, tartary tea Basically, buckwheat tea is made from the roasted buckwheat kernel, so you can't just boil it in hot water and call it a tea. And uh, basically, what we do is take the leaves from a plant, then that then is steeped in hot water. So this tea is very famous in Japan, Korea, and China, and it has been drunk for many years, and only recently has its popularity reached us in the western part of the world. And uh, this tea has delicious nutty flavor. And because of the roasted buckwheat, which makes it a very interesting tea, and it's definitely different from your regular herbal teas. Uh, but that's, that's what makes it so special. And popular teas like green, white, or oolong tea have flavors that all of us are just used to. And it just gets stagnant over time. So this is why bu buckwheat tea will, I don't know, bring some variety to your life. And you should also. Uh, consider this tea if you want to remove caffeine from a diet and uh, it's just a perfect beverage for anyone who wants to have a healthy caffeine free diet if you it will not disturb your sleeping patterns and it can actually help you fall asleep <laughs> because of its calm, calming properties and uh, apart from distincting flavor and smell people drink buckwheat tea because of its healing properties and uh, speaking of those uh, buckwheat has more fiber than oatmeal or rice or banana so because of fibers it can allow steady sugar entrance into bloodstream rather than just spiking them and crashing so it's very important to keep your uh, blood sugar levels in check because high blood sugar levels can lead to damage of organs heart attack blindness and kidney flavor I mean we're talking extreme cases here yeah. and uh, uh, because uh, it has a lot of insoluble fibers, it can prevent gallstones as well, so it speeds up how fast food travels from the upper digestive tract through your colon, and that reduces your bile acid secretion, so it just has less demand on the gallbladder, and for every 5 grams that you increase your uh, fiber intake, your risk of gallstones decrease by 10%, which is incredible. And since... Uh, a uh, buckwheat contains uh, lignin, it can also reduce the risk of breast cancer, and a study of 36,000 women in the UK showed that those who were premenopausal and regularly consuming whole grains had 40% less risk of breast cancer, so eating whole grains like buckwheat and drinking buckwheat tea uh, can significantly lower your risk of breast cancer. And uh, it's also a perfect remedy for constipation because uh, it's not only uncomfortable and unhealthy, but can be dangerous, so it can lead to uh, polyps and colon cancer, and uh, yeah, consuming buckwheat should uh, aid with those fibers. And uh, antioxidants in generally just uh, probably we have been taught about like in like, I don't know, thousands of different books, so we basically just like superheroes for yourselves <laughs> and you want to antioxidants in your diet. So buckwheat tea has uh, certain kinds of antioxidants that help support the circulation system as well as reducing high blood pressure. So uh, buckwheat tea also contains protein. So if you are a vegetarian, you should drink uh, tea or just eat it. Uh, this is great for a healthy way to just increase your protein intake. Also, the protein in your body is made up to 20 different amino acids. And some of those amino acids that your body can make on its own and some of them your body cannot make. And those are basically just called essential amino acids and you have to get this from your diet. So buckwheat contains two of those essential acids and <laughs> yeah, yeah, for your consumption. And uh, gluten is basically a protein found in greens and a lot of people develop allergies to gluten, at least uh, according to various claims. So uh, buckwheat tea is great for someone who has gluten allergies because it's gluten free. <laughs> And buckwheat tea also contains monounsaturated fats that help to lower blood, uh, basically lower 
cholesterol and protect your heart. And mono and saturated fats are found in olive oil, and that's why olive oil is considered to be so healthy so for a heart. So buckwheat tea has those same properties. And uh, the most important vitamin to lower stress, if you have already heard or not, is basically vitamin B or a group of vitamins, and basically there is B, B6, B, just lots of Bs. <laughs> And basically, it will help our brain to produce the right balance of brain chemicals that will lower our stress levels and uh, just help us adapt to the stress of our lives much more fluidly. So stress can be very dangerous and just to sweep your levels down and be more relaxed, uh, you could or should consume buckwheat or buckwheat tea uh, since it has many vitamins or B vitamins, and it should help reduce stress and anxiety in general. So uh, that's some, <laughs> these are just some of the benefits of buckwheat and buckwheat tea. Uh, if you're looking just to try something different, head over to the website at airyt.com. That's a i r y t e a dot com, and check us out. <laughs> this was Sam, and I wish you a beautiful day.